everybody, welcome to Strike TV Video Country Backstage Access. Tonight, we're really excited because this lady has been burning it up. She's been Fox, Fox, Fox and Friends, Fox News or whatever, yeah, Fox just News. a couple days ago. You have a new song mm -hmm. that, that's out. Tonight, it's sold out. Yeah. How cool is that? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mary Sarah. Hey. Make some noise. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for doing this. Thanks for having me. Congratulations. Thanks for coming back. Yeah, you, uh, yeah. tonight sold out. Yeah, you did TV a couple of days ago. Gosh, it's been yeah. a good, uh, it's, it's been, been good. It's been a crazy ride. It's, it's wild because... You know, I haven't really been pushing too much to do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. The Lord has just brought some opportunities. And we had this show coming for Christmas. I'm here in Houston, and mm -hmm. which is what I really call home. Yes. Um, so we're just coming home for the holidays. So we're like, why not? Let's do a little like show, a little Christmas show or something. So we put this together, and now it's sold out. It's we're sold like, out. All right, that's great. <laughs> right. We're not mad about it. <laughs> and it was, yeah, because yeah. somebody was coming up and said, hey, can we... Uh Somebody was asking earlier, Rebecca, hey, is there somebody who can get some tickets or something? They said, nope, sold out. Sorry. So you have to go it's check out. It's a good out. problem to have. That's right. I'm so sorry for the people who can't make it. But <laughs> <laughs> Just have to go to her website now. Yeah. Would it be like MarySarah.com? Or? It's simple as that. MarySarah.com. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So, yeah, so I know you. when you mentioned you said you've been really blessed. You've been doing yeah. this for a while. Long time. I have been, I'm 26 now, and I started when I was like nine or 10 years old, at least singing. And then professionally, yes. I started at 12. Yeah. Because so. as some oh, know, it. of course, <laughs> as we say, you did the voice. I did, yeah, that was in 2016. But what's interesting to me is we're going to go ahead and we'll show this right here. Yeah. Go out, buy it. Actually, probably should get two copies, if not three. One for you, one to give away. And one to give to a family member. So, um, so we're talking about success. I mean, and most people would say, "Wow, the voice is about as top as it would get." And of course, you were top five. Yeah. Which yeah. is crazy. But so we go back to here. Some of the people that you did duets with. Yeah. It's just crazy. <laughs> and so let me go. Dolly Parton Hall of Fame, Willie Hall of Fame, Ray Price Hall of Fame, Merle Haggard Hall of Fame, Lynn Anderson, Tanya Tucker, Oak Ridge Boys. Let's go. And and you were how old were you when you did this? I started I started recording that record at the age of fifteen. So I was in the studio. The first person we got in the studio was Dolly Parton, and I wow. had to nervously walk my way into that studio with Dolly Parton. Right? Wow. <laughs> yes, it was amazing. It was a a record that taught me so much as well. I'm um, getting mm -hmm. to work with artists like that. I mean, they've got. Um, plethora of knowledge so mm -hmm. they were able to share some things with me as well as Kent Wells who produced it which is Dolly's producer right. he taught me I learned how to like sing harmonies I learned just how to be in the studio because a lot of people really don't realize that being in the studio is a lot different than being on stage mm -hmm. um, it's a it's kind of a whole different beast and so learning how to be in the studio and, and kind of perfect that um, that was a big help that whole record so we did that from the age of 15 to 18 and I released wow. it when I was 18. And then I ended up going the voice when I was 20. So, Wow. Yeah. And then also, which to me is kind of cool, is uh, you've played the Opry. I have. I did that right after I got off the voice. So we. it was kind of wild. It was perfect timing. My season ended right um, as CMA Fest was happening. Mm -hmm. yes. And so we literally went to Nashville. And so when I was on the show... I was seeing, like, on my phone, on Twitter and Facebook and everything, I was seeing all the fans and all their comments and everything, but, like, not in person. I hadn't met anybody. And so CMA Fest, we go into that, and we, like, book some shows really quick. Ended up completely sold out. I mean, wall to wall. It was the craziest thing. It was almost like because I was in, like, such another world out in L.A., right. I hadn't met all the fans. And so when, when we did that, I was like, oh, my gosh. This is crazy. <laughs> it was amazing, though. So then we did, yeah, we did the Grand Ole Opry debut a week after, and so I've done it, like, about five five times, I think, now. Wow. Yeah. What, um, do you remember your room? What It's one through 19, um, I believe. I want to say, I don't remember the room number, but it mm -hmm. was um, the... Um, the room to celebrate women in country okay. music. Yeah. So we, Very and I, it was cool. just full pictures of just the women that have come through the Opry. It was so beautiful. It just was, it was the perfect room to be in for me. So do you remember what song? Um, I, yeah, oh my gosh. Well, just, I mean, it's just one well, of those. Well, I've done it five times, so I almost, yes. they almost kind of blend together. I do mm -hmm. remember I was wearing this beautiful white dress with like rhinestones on it. I mm -hmm. had 
fiercely blonde hair. I was very blonde. Right. Um, but yeah, my whole, all my family was able to come. My aunts, um, wow. my cousins. It was really amazing. It was it was incredible. It was such a memorable experience. I think I don't remember the song because I more or less remember the feeling of yes. just being up there and going like it's just. That's what it's they heavenly. say. It's, yeah, they say you forget you there. Say, and you have a touch of heaven on the opera. And it's yeah. and it's there and it's done pretty quick. Yeah, it's amazing. So um. Tell me about the voice. So we were watching the, uh, we we're just watching the sound check here, and you yeah. sounded amazing. Thank and you. I love that guitar. Ah, thank you so much. That's pretty. <laughs> that awesome. guitar has been with me since the voice. Yeah, I got that, uh, Mr. Blake Shelton. We made it to top three on his team, I think, and he gave the top three uh, Takamini guitars. Wow. Yeah. And now I actually am under uh, like Takamini's whole website and everything as a a Takamini artist. So. so y'all check it out. That's yeah. pretty cool. So yeah. tell me, um, so your song, the song that you chose for the audition, Where the Boys Are, yeah. how did you come up with that? What was there? Is there something? <laughs> well, I didn't, you know, it's kind of wild. It's, it's like a little bit of a long story because uh -huh. Where the Boys Are has been a song that I've sang since okay. I was like, I want to say like, 11 or 12 my dad was the one to show me connie francis and it was back when i was performing in the operas here in texas and uh it was just a classic song that i absolutely fell in love with and then i watched the movie where the boys are and i fell mm -hmm. even more in love with it and i was like this is just amazing and so fast forward to 2016 and i'm going on the voice and it's it was the perfect song in my brain when I had dreamt about going on The Voice. Because years prior, I had opportunities to audition. And I auditioned sometimes, but I never said yes. I was able to like move forward, but I was like, you know what, I've got too much going on. We were doing the Bridges record, mm -hmm. those kinds of things. And so I was like, you know what, i got to finish what I start. So I, I pushed it off. I kept pushing it off. But I would imagine, like, what, you know, if I were on there, what would I sing, you know? And the thing about it is, is you don't even, at the end of the day, you actually don't get to pick the specific song. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I will tell you, it, people are like, what? No, you can't, what? I'm like, no, it's because they don't want people singing the same songs. Yes. They can't have everyone singing the same mm -hmm. songs. So they have to kind of do it. So they ask you for like 150 songs though, of like, what would you do, you know? And then they get to pick through that. So Where the Boys Are was like one of 150 songs that I sent for my blind audition. And um, I, we all started to get emails like a couple days before we were supposed to have our blind auditions and people are getting their songs and I'm like, oh my God, I haven't gotten an email yet. And I remember specifically being in the hotel and I'm walking over to the Starbucks with a couple of other contestants and um, I get my email and I hear like the little email thing on my phone and I'm mm -hmm. like, I think that's it. So I like sneak off into like the cars in the little parking lot in front of oh. Starbucks right. and I'm in between the cars. First off, I'm like calling my parents. No one's answering. <laughs> <laughs> little like, annoying i'm like this is a big moment man <laughs> um but i open it and it says where the boy they picked where the boys are and like that to me was like a god moment of going like you're right where you're supposed to be because that's what i imagined doing yeah. on the show and so then i and then i got to do it and it was literally i mean going up there and singing that i felt like i was in my dream that i'd already seen in my head and it worked because yeah, you got a four chair turn. I did. So it was I something did. worked. You I know? did. Something, something worked. Yeah. And then you that also. That song's been like a big door opener in my life. I actually first sang that, um, like, the big the big time, I guess, was when um, the Oak Ridge Boys asked me to sing it on stage with them when I was 15. Yeah. Um, so it's always been kind of a door opener. And that's a lot of how, like, the Bridges record happened, too. I uh, got to send that my version to all the artists and. Um, that's how they were like, oh, yeah, I guess she's okay. <laughs> yeah, and then we can't forget, also, you did a, uh, a great version with uh, David Purcell. Yeah, You're the Reason God Made Middle Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Yeah. That sounded amazing. Thank you, thank you. That, that was, was full circle, too, because my dad and I would sing that song in the Opry's of Texas all the time as a kid. So being able to actually get in the studio with him and celebrate the 40th anniversary was pretty incredible so it's it's pretty awesome i know shelly i don't know if she's heard it or not um uh -huh. but she's she's been um retired for quite some time and so right. when we came up with the idea it was kind of like well if you guys need someone <laughs> right yeah and it's funny so you mentioned the texas opry mm -hmm. was it was it your dad that kind of really got you into it or you always because i know you started yeah. early mm -hmm. you know yeah. you start well, start as when you think of texas you think of honky tonks. Yes. And ten year olds can't sing in honky tonks. Right. So that was the other option was, hey, if you want to get up on stage, if you want to perform, right. This is about the only place you can. 
So I started to learn classic country from that, uh, yeah, as a young kid. That was specifically for that, and then I just really fell in love with it. And it was it was Opry, it was called Now and Then? Was that what it was called? Um, no, so all Opry's all over Texas yes, is yeah. where I would play. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. That's very cool. So um, <laughs> so now we're, we're wrapping up 2021 here. Mm -hmm. So what's go, what's up for 2022? You have. Ooh, I'm yeah. hoping uh, hoping I get a specific date. Uh, we're working on new music right now, so I'm in the Ooh. studio. We're getting back at it. So we've got some great songs. I'm playing some tonight, which is awesome. Yes. Um, giving some little sneak previews, but uh, yeah, I'm hoping new music and then eventually tour, because that's you know I it's my love. That's my first love is performing. So. Wow, that is great. So um. I know you're busy. I appreciate you taking out time. So, oh, gosh, no. So Thank it's, you. Is, it's MarySarah.com, mm -hmm. Facebook. Mary Sarah Music. Mary, okay, Music. Sarah with an H. Just remember Sarah with an yes, H. Yes, yes. Mary Sarah, Sarah with, an with an H. So, um, <laughs> yeah, and don't forget, check it out. Bridges. Check out Bridges. Yeah, and check, check out my newest single. Newest single, yeah, Take my Me Christmas Home. Christmas single. Yeah, uh, Christmas single. Yeah. John Denver. We John Denver. Christmas so, classic, um, so. But, yeah, but so anyway, yeah. thank you so much. Check her out, guys. Thank Everybody, so Merry much. Christmas. Strike Merry TV, Christmas. Video Country. See you next time.